You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! Uh, I want to ask you something, and I hope I don't start no trouble, but I do got to ask you. And I'm mad I can't find the actual clip, but... Um, so evidently, Mook and Hitman, they, you know, got their little thing going on. I, I, I love for that battle to be set up. One thing caught me in, in the interview that he said, and he was saying that what Mook didn't bring to the culture. Uh, schemes, punches. Wait, Mook actually did the first thing. I'm just saying what I. That's what he. That's what Hitman said. That's what Hitman said. I mean, so I was so like, maybe, I, I was you know, shocked. Maybe he, maybe Hitman, uh, was mixing up who made something popular, then who made up. Okay. Because uh, um, I don't know if he said that. No, he didn't. He didn't say that. I'm saying that's why I said he's maybe mixing up. Okay. Because Mook said, if you want to be a hero, hero. For the breaking the cheese. That's a fact. No, that's a fact. That's the, the first one I remember. Hit him with hot peppers, uh -huh. split his onions, so please don't let us. Mm -hmm. That was the first scheme I heard. First one I heard. Yeah. So, he definitely brought that. He brought in ending your rhyme with a slogan. Easy. He brought in these high-ass prices. <laughs> which I'm thankful for because we're getting some money now. He... He brought yo. What what else did he bring to the uh, uh up to battle rap? Easy. Personal. Was he punching? First one to do personals against Mills. And we talk. Who do we talk about? Think me and you talked about that. Yeah, 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 yeah right. He mentioned his girl. Right, you yeah. You couldn't do that before. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have made it off Bill's block if I was going up there talking about his girl, man. No matter how tough you think you is, nigga, when you on a nigga block, you on a block. That's different. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, so nah, when Mook brought that, it was all late niggas, all out of niggas. Whatever it would have been from there, it would have just been. Mm -hmm. But that's something that Mook brought to the, brought to the game. Mm -hmm. And what else? Niggas stopping in the middle of their rhyme and going to address somebody else. Some other niggas from Detroit was just saw my dick. I already eight miles, overall eight miles, and the other one was four bars before what I got to say now. Now back to regular schedule programming. That's something else he brought to this shit. Who would you say brought punches to this? It's hard to say that because niggas been punchlining forever. Okay. Now, in, in battle rap, the person that was punchlining the most would be Cassidy. Okay. All right. Okay. Cassidy was punchline for punchline. See, niggas used to have raps with a punch here. Right. A metaphor there, a punch here. Cassidy had rhymes with punch, 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 punch. So how the fuck you beating a nigga like that in 2000 mm. when you just got a rhyme? And then you seen that against Freeway. It was different. Yes, now, conceded, be magic, they made it stand out in the culture mm -hmm. because they were more frequent battlers than Cassidy was. Frequent camera battlers. We were able to, more people That's were able to see it. Thank yes. you for clearing yes. that up. Yes. Because Cassidy would have been wrong crazy. <laughs> uh, they were more more frequent battlers that you can actually see. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look at it, I remember back in the days, because he just said, yo, I used to watch Cassidy. That made me want to do this shit, or some shit like that. So, you, you kind of, you'll see where that come from. But you know, I ain't up here to do this to uh, make this a, a mook and hit man, like, a thing, because they no, don't grow men. No, I, I was you, curious, as somebody that comes from the early days of it, you know, and I was I was kind of shocked the way he said it. it was like I, I get it, y'all are you want to maybe y'all gonna battle or whatever the case may be, but it's like it comes to the point where it's like oh you, you see still, they too they too, you still got to give a man his credit. They you know? two different people, right? Mm -hmm. You know, if you look at it, Hitman get really pissed off about a lot of shit. Right, right. That's just what I'm saying. That's, his temper is like that. So it it'll look like. 
fuck you and actually might really be fuck you momentarily or forever. Mm-hmm. But it's heated between Hitman and Mook back and moment. That it is. They're two grown ass men. I let her flip the coin. I'm saying like if if if, if the, it can get to that point. The violence and all that shit, I don't need the party. I don't want to, even want to do that. Like, I, nah, I hate when I am a fucking mm-hmm. so stick to the battle rap. Why? Well, I saying, hate boy, when they start throwing that I, bullshit. I, I understand that. also that when you get mad, and um, that could be how you feeling at the moment, man. That could be how you feeling. You know, Hitman, um, battle rap. Mm-hmm. Went, to, went to national TV with this while and out. Toward and came back to the culture. Heavy. Started bags and bodies and came back to the culture. Really, really. Then yeah. came back and gave back to some artists in the culture, gave them a platform. Right. The, uh, the, the uh, K State talent on. And, you know what I'm saying? And a few of these dudes is now starting to be respected names. I'm yes, getting yes. placements and getting more, getting booked more. Right. So you got to respect a nigga like Hitman for that. And he consistently come back and battle. His self. His right. self. Yeah, yeah. So you got to respect that. They, the arguments, they both have arguments. They both can speak on things. But they both will slip up on up on, on things about the other. Because mm-hmm. this shit might not check for Hitman as much as, 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 as this to even know this part. And Hitman be like, nigga, I ain't worried about no motherfucking mook to even know that or even remember that because it was so old. Right. Anybody living their own life. You know what I'm saying? So... Hopefully, man, they can get the battle done. I hope so. And this is going to be the tough question, too. If they battle, you don't have to tell me who wins or why, or you can, but I'd like the, a breakdown of them like you did Rock and uh, Easy. Uh, was it Rock? Yeah, Rock and Easy. I liked, I liked how you broke that down skill-wise between the two. Oh. Uh. You know me, I think Mook is a little lyric, more lyrically inclined. More lyrical, okay. I, I think Mook more lyrically inclined. I feel um, Mook's substance is real different. Um, Hitman's electrifying. Hitman could get in a pocket with one of those flows and Mad to him, mm, mm. same kind of shit. Mm. I put the mag to him. Mm, mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? He he start getting in that shit with that accent <laughs> and performing that motherfucker. And Hitman Pauls give you that feeling. Mm. Highly entertaining. So Hitman gonna have to Hitman gonna have to be lyrical. More, Big Man gonna have to be more lyrical, but don't more go, lyrical than he's ever been, or just more lyrical. More lyrical than he ever been. Okay. Um, Big Man had to be more entertaining than he ever been. Now he was just in front of Torque, which is electrifying, also. Yes. But he don't have the fan base of a Hitman Holler. It's people that might not know. Might not know one of us, but they know him from Wild and Out, so they already familiar with being a fan of him. Mm-hmm. So he's gonna he's gonna have more of a shot of catching a second win if he needed it, because they want to give him a chance. They know him. This is Hitman Hala. Stage order or 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 uh, volume. It got, that's all. Does it matter for either one of them? I think. Yeah, I think so. It do matter. I mean, we've seen a great hitman in, in that blue, blue room. room. Yes, that was a great hitman. <laughs> so we don't get to see him, you know, on the floor like that. Usually he's on the stage going crazy, but that right. hitman was, was crazy. He he's gonna have to be like that if they going if they're gonna do it in a, in a small room. See. Mook know how to make a small room so personal. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't be about who's in the room 
about the camera. It's going to be you and him move. He's going to get next to you and irritate you with this lyrical shit. With facts. Don't let him. Don't let him dig in his personal bag because he could do that. He could do that. One of the first people that was angling also too. But, it's a lot of firsts. Yeah, it's a lot of firsts. You know, lately. Yeah. Um, so, so that's so that that's that'll be the difference. It'll be it's gonna be what you um because that's gonna be a dog fight. So now some people might be like performance. There's different kind of performances. Mm-hmm. There's performing for the people performance. And then it's performing to make your, your opponent feel like I'm losing. Hmm. I wasn't rapping to the people that was there. I was rapping to chess. I'm just so good I know how to keep everybody else in it. If I see you drifting off, I might say, yo, yo, Mills. This is all strategy to I've never heard that before and, and you're so right. Sometimes I mean I don't know who else does that, but yeah, sometimes it's better to perform to your opponent opposed to worrying about performing for the crowd. Because that's how you But you all you your performing opponent for your on. opponent, what you gotta remember is there is there's a camera there. Yeah. So you gotta position yourself where the camera can see you performing to the to your opponent. Right. Now everybody's satisfied. It, it ain't about... Sounded like it might have been a pause somewhere in there, but go ahead. Pause. <laughs> pause. I'm but from all of, I'm from really? all of, brother. If it, if it, if it, <laughs> I, I'd rather pause it than not pause it. In fact, as I, tell, I, tell, I think it might have been a pause in there for four yeah, minutes, yeah. whatever, so, but go. So, My bad. Um... Threw me off for a second. I'm sorry. We talking about man. performing for your opponent or performing for the the the, right. the, the, the the audience? Because boom, I'm rapping to you. I want I want you to know I'm fucking you up. I'm not looking. I'm not looking for this camera. Mm-hmm. But if I so happen to see it, I'm a position. Or do a move towards where, where the camera is at, mm-hmm. and not even give it a look. Niggas looking, he don't give a fuck about that. He fucking this nigga up. He don't care about none of that shit. But this is all a part of, of knowing the ring. So is that? Can you say one of those is Mook and the other one is Hitman? Uh, like Hitman is the crowd. Hitman is the crowd and Mook one, but is the battle Hitman, rap. Hitman is the crowd performer, but Hitman is the uh, small room nigga too. Okay, all right. And um, I'll say Mook more. I say Mook is more of the more of the small room, more or the small room kind of dude. But then you seen him against Geechee on the big stage, so it's it's, it's Geechee it's, and twerk. So yeah, it's hard to yeah. I, I left that out. Mm-hmm. It's hard to uh. To take that away, yes, Hitman is definitely more entertaining. Okay. Straight up and down. Yes, Mook is definitely more lyrical. This shit gonna come down to who you believe the most. It's gonna come down to who don't seem whoever ain't being extra. Um whoever's not being bothered up there. Whoever's not out of character. A nigga gotta be able to be standing there knowing you saying something hot. Not going. Over over the over the mad face, he just ready to rap. He just ready to go right back in the heads. He might not give you no props for it, because it's fuck you. Mm-hmm. But he just ready to go right back and he ready to fucking kill you. He ready to finish you off. And all of those things is gonna be things that's gonna matter. In that battle. 
See, Hitman know how to perform at all. Uh, in street ways too. Like, man, I'm just saying, man, you saying what? That small room shit. That small room shit. Right. It's it's so noticed, it's so known now. If you do it on a big stage, niggas will react too. But him saying shit like that in a small room too, balling his fists up and it's gonna be like, yo, that shit gonna look like yo. It's, you know, some of these battles is um, pause. It's crazy. Some of these battles, I'm gonna say it different. Some of these battles is flag football, and some of these battles is is, is the NFL. It's mm-hmm. tackle, and that's what that's going. That's what that'll be. Yeah, that ain't no flag football. That ain't no flag football. Nah, nah, nah. The niggas ain't getting up there to say nothing nice. At the moment, they don't even like each other. Right now, they do not like no, each other at all. No, you no know way that shit put me at like, mm-hmm. what the fuck, Hitman? Like my bro, that's my bro. Fuck that like, that is my bro. Right, right. This is my fucking family. You feel what I'm saying? So that that shit is weird. But what I did did learn, um, through trial and tribulations, through making mistakes in this culture, is sometimes you gotta let men be men. All the time. You gotta let men. It, yeah, because some, it was times that you know, uh, you could be loyal by default. You could be uh, you could speak too soon on something, and and uh, now Mook and Hitman is past the issue, and they good, <laughs> and me and Hitman up. is not <laughs> right, not fuck, right. not speaking right, because right. you moved, right? You moved away at a time. You right. understand what I'm saying? Yeah, and I, I just wanted to get your opinion on the yeah. battle. You know me, I don't give a fuck about nothing else. Yeah, no, but I had to speak on all of it because I, that message is kind of to both of them. I, if they stumble past the interview, I want them niggas to know, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I'm a fan of both of them, mm-hmm. and that's something I would want to see. And, um, come on, man, we family, so. Get past the bullshit and get back to rap. Because they family, right? They... Shit. So... Can't say that. No, but, you know what I mean? They, I mean, but they ain't never been enemies to the fact where though they got to be beefing with each other, just battle rap. Both of them are highly opinionated people, mm-hmm. and when you're speaking your opinion to the public, a person has a right to feel away. True. A person has a right to feel away. So I can't say that hit me wrong. I can't say move wrong. Is there ways that that, that uh, they could have went about it different? Yeah. But who would need to tell them niggas that at the moment or how they felt? Grown man shit. Hopefully, like I say, the battle will get set up, man. I like I'd like to see that. Yeah. Fifteen minutes of fame. You are now listening to Fifteen Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go.